So why does Grindelwald look so different? Welcome back to the channel guys. The biggest talking point for Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore has to be the recasting of Johnny Depp as Gellert Grindelwald, the main villain of the series, who will now be played by Maz Mikkelsen. Honestly guys, both of these actors are solid and they've had many memorable performances under their belts. And I like both, I'm a fan of both actors. But obviously both parties have their diehard fans and at times it does get crazy in the comments. If you've been here for a while, you know how I feel about this. What happened to Johnny Depp sucks and I will leave a link to a video when the news first broke. So if you want to know my full thoughts on the Johnny Depp situation, go and check that out. Because honestly, I am a bit tired of repeating it. But today we're going to talk about why Gellert Grindelwald looks so different in the third film. And obviously, if you like Harry Potter, The Wizarding World, Fantastic Beasts, Fantasy, all that good stuff, make sure you subscribe. So Gellert Grindelwald, the main villain of Fantastic Beasts, the wizard revolutionary who wants to make the world a better place for the witches and wizards of the magical community. In the first film, he was played by Colin Farrell, disguised as a character known as Percival Graves, who was then revealed as Geller Grindelwald, played by Johnny Depp, with his spiky, slick back, blonde undercut, trimmed moustache, and of course his famous two different eye colours, one pale blue and the other dark brown, which I do believe comes from Johnny Depp, that was his suggestion. And no matter how you feel about Johnny Depp's performance, I don't think anyone can deny that he stood out from the crowd, and his extravagant look told us a lot about his character. It was different. It's definitely a Johnny Depp character as well. He was unique, but we could argue it was a bit over the top, as it does kind of feel like a departure from both the younger version of the character from Deathly Hallows and Crimes of Grindelwald, and the older version from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Whereas Maz Mikkelsen's version kind of say looks more toned down. He still has a stylish outfit, but this time in form of a sharp suit, long coat, and at times a red scarf. And there's also one scene where he's praised by his followers, and it looks like he's wearing a tuxedo. He's clean shaven, or at times he might have a slight stubble. But his hair, that's the major difference. It's completely different colour and style than Johnny Depp's. It's darker, with a blonde or white streak through the fringe, instead of being completely blonde and spiked back, spiked up, and then undercut. It's completely different. And as for the eyes, it is hard to tell in the photos and the screen grabs that we have from the trailer, but I remember reading a while back that this version of Grindelwald is still going to have the two different eye colours, but it won't be as pronounced. Guys, I remember one comment from uh, Trailer Breakdown. They said he looks like a wizard accountant. <laughs> that, that is brilliant, honestly. That, that made me laugh. But I'm not going to deny, I'm digging it. I like how Maz looks as Grindelwald. Yeah, it's not as unique or as distinctive as Johnny Depp's, but I'm fine with it. He still looks like the main villain, he still has a presence, but it's more toned down. And we know that Maz will deliver, as he's a quality actor. But for now, we have to wait for the film because the trailer has shown hardly any footage of him. But I think the first trailer is mostly focused around Albus Dumbledore, played by Jude Law. And the second trailer will shift focus more towards Maz Mikkelsen's Grindelwald, with Dumbledore still playing an important part of that trailer, but they're going to showcase more Grindelwald in that one, just to balance it out. But the question is, why do the two Grindelwalds look so different? Obviously it's recasting, they're two different men, duh. But I think there's more to it. First, I think the studio and the filmmakers, they want Maz's version to have similar attributes, but they don't want... Maz Mikkelsen to dress up as Johnny Depp. When Maz was first cast, he said he won't be doing that. He won't be copying Johnny Depp's performance as the character, out of respect for Johnny and for himself. They've hired Maz Mikkelsen to play Grindelwald. They haven't hired him to play Johnny Depp playing Grindelwald. It's the same character, but the performance will be slightly different because it's a different actor. Maz mentioned several times about building the bridge, connecting the bridge to the performances, whilst making it his own. And I think the appearance is a major factor there. But another reason why they look so different is the studio wants to distance themselves 
from the controversy of Johnny Depp leaving this film because no matter how you sugarcoat it, he was basically fired or pushed through the door. And having another actor, especially one of Maz Mikkelsen's quality, running about dressed up in the same clothes that the previous actor wore does not look good. And it's not something Maz would want to do. Guys, they just want to forget this ordeal. They want to forget about Johnny Depp playing him, to be honest. And that's why I don't think there will be any mention of Grindelwald's new appearance. We all know recasting happens all the time. Happened for Dumbledore and Harry Potter. But of course, that was a completely different situation. But in terms of this scenario, don't expect any references to the sudden change of appearance, even in the form of a throwaway joke about polyjuice potion, transfiguration, or a new haircut. The studio wants to move on, and even though what happened sucks, we have to accept it. But speaking of transfiguration, here's a popular idea. Some people say that Grindelwald's true appearance is the Maz Mikkelsen version, or even the Johnny Depp version, using the same technique that he used in the first film. So the Johnny Depp version was just another transfiguration, or another appearance, another form. Or the Maz version is that. Just like how he used transfiguration to disguise himself as Percival Graves. And many argue that he's doing it again. Perhaps to hide from Newt Scamander or Albus Dumbledore. Or because of all the wanted posters with his face plastered over them. Or maybe he's changed his appearance to look more like a politician because that's what this movie's about. Grindelwald's desire and campaign to become Supreme Mugwump, the head of the International Confederation of Wizards. And I don't think anyone can deny he looks more like a politician now than he did in the last film. We could argue there has been a time skip as Crimes of Grindelwald happened in 1927. Secrets of Dumbledore is some point in 1930s. So anywhere between 1930 and 1939. We're not actually sure on the exact date yet. So Grindelwald is older and styles change. But I don't think there will be any story implications. The plot will not be affected, and I mentioned earlier there won't be any reference to the sudden change of appearance. It's just not going to happen because the studio wants to move on. The first scene he'll appear in, it's going to be like nothing's changed. But the performance itself will be slightly different, but it is the same character. He just looks completely different. So yeah, to sum it all up, the reason Grindelwald looks different is because it's a different actor, obviously. And the other reason is the fact the studio wants to distance themselves from Johnny Depp and all the mess that's been going on. Just imagine Maz Mikkelsen dressed up as Johnny Depp. It would be ridiculous. So I'm glad that he's got his own look. And I am excited for his performance because he's a solid actor. It just kind of sucks that it's had to happen this way. But I think that'll do for today. So guys, make sure you post your thoughts on why Grindelwald looks so different now And just give me any Grindelwald, Dumbledore theories you have, throw them at me. And whilst you're here, I do have some more Fantastic Beasts videos, including Tina Nagini and where they are in this film. Queenie, now that she's on Team Grindelwald, and explaining who Professor Lally Hicks is. And I've got a lot more coming, so make sure you subscribe to get them. But yeah guys, rambling as always, so I'll say thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you soon.